Hello, my dear students. Let's continue our lesson in algebra, which was factorization trinomial or factorizing the trinomials. But today we will continue in another idea or with another idea, which is if we have a coefficient in front of x squared in that form, ax squared plus bx plus c. I need your attention here in that kind of factorization. It's very easy by practicing a lot. You have to practice a lot and it's better to use pencil in the beginning of this kind of factorization. You may try a lot of uh, alternatives. Example one, 5x power three, negative four x power two, negative 12 x, and the question is of course factorized. First, I have x power 3, x power 2, x. I said in the first part, I need to, number one, take common factor if I have, and arrange according to the descending power of x. So start with x square, then x, then absolute number. Here I have x power 3, so I will take x as a common factor from the three terms like this, divided by x. x must be dropped in the beginning like this, okay? And divide the three trinomial, the three terms by x and x and x. Here that will be 5x squared, drop the negative, 4x, negative 12. In the beginning of this kind, I need two numbers. I need two numbers, I need to factorize. I need two numbers, their product 12. Of course, I have a lot of numbers, their product 12, 1 by 12, 2 by 6, 3 by 4. And also, I need two numbers, their product 5x squared. So it's very easy to say that in 5x by x is 5x squared. But, and I don't have here, by the way, I don't have any factors except 5x by x. Two divided in two brackets, I have 5x and x, like this. But, from the side of 12, I have three options. 1 by 12, 2 by 6, 3 by 4. So, to solve this kind of factorization, I need to make a very easy way. First of all, take 5 and 12 and multiply them in a side like this. 5 by 12 equals what? Equals 60. That 60 has a lot of factors. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10. Okay? All of these factors give me 60. But if I'm going to choose two factors only, if I'm going to choose two factors only, which two factors shall I choose? 1 by 60 or 2 by 30? Yeah. I have to choose these two factors according to certain system, which is that two factors, the difference between them, four. Again, the difference between them, four. Which two factors here, the difference between them is four? One minus 60, of course not, 230, 320. You will try all of them, you will reach six by 10. If you try to subtract 10 minus six, equals 4. So, I will take these two factors, but it is not like the first part. I cannot write 6 and 10 huh, like the first part. I will make a small arc and a bigger arc like this. Here I have the two numbers in the negative sign. That means negative sign, it means two numbers, their product will be one positive and one negative because this is the rule of the first part if you remember and back to the first part you will get this easy if we have a negative sign here we will put the two positive or negative the bigger number take the negative or take the middle sign the middle sign is negative so negative 10 okay I will make here negative 10 and positive 6 and I said why negative 10 and positive 6 so 5x and x this is the beginning of 5x square here if I wanted to put here a number and a number, their product 
12, their product, 12. From the factors of 12, I need to put a number in front of 5, if it is multiplied by it, equals 10. So, if I try to choose the factors of 12, 1 by 12, 2 by 6, 3 by 4, that one is very suitable. Why? I have here 5 multiplied by 2 equals 6. But this is negative 10. So I need to make 5 by negative 2 to give me negative 10. Okay? And so, x time what? The factors here is 6. Because 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. But here I will put the positive sign because positive in front of 6. And of course we have to drop the x here before the factorization bracket and don't forget it. Okay? Another example. 6x power 2, negative 19, x plus 3. First of all, check that you don't have common factor. Your terms arranged well. Yeah, they are arranged well. And I don't have any HTF or any common factor. Okay, start by taking the factors of the first term and the last term. Yeah, the factors of the first term, 6x squared. The factors of 6, 1 by 6, and 2 by 3. It is very clear. The factors of 3, 1 by 3, and only 1 by 3. I don't have any options. First, open the two braces. It's very easy. Make the first step, which is take the first number by the last number. 6 times 3. Follow the arrows. That would be easy to follow the arrows here. 6 times 3 equals what? Equals 18. In a side, take this 18 and get the factor of this 18. Factor of 18, 1 by 18, 2 by 9, 3 by 6. Okay, now I need two numbers. Here to put it on the big arcs here and small arcs. Their product, I need to get two numbers. Their product, their product 18 and the sum, the sum equals 19. The sum of the two numbers equals 90. From the factors, it's very clear that the first factor, which is 1 by 18, the first two factors here, they brought it 18, and their sum equals 19. Okay? Here I have positive sign, and the middle sign is negative. And I said in the first part, if you have similar sign, if you have, sorry, positive sign, you have to make the two sign of the brackets similar like the middle sign. So the bracket here will be negative and negative. Okay. So here I need to get the two numbers, their product 18, okay, but negative 1 and negative 18 written in the arcs down. Now, again, I need to get the first and the last number, their product 18. From the factor of 6, can I put 6 and can I put 2 and I can put 3 here? But which one is the better one? If you put here 2, 2 times 9 equals 18. 2 here times 9 equals 18. Can I put here 9? Of course not. I have to put here 1 and 3 only. 1 or 3. So here I have to put 6x negative. And negative, this is the sign. Okay? And here, of course, I will make x. 6x by x equals 6x squared. 6x times what here to give me negative 18? 6x times 3 equals negative 18. Okay? And here, I need from this, num this number and this to give me negative 1. So I will put here 1 because this is x. 1 times x, x or negative 1. Okay? Example number three. Number three example. I need here to take highest common factor to x. Divided two, divided two, divided two, and divide by x, by x, by x. So the, the simplest form will be drop the two x, the, 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 the highest common factor, and drop eight x squared, positive 10x, positive three. 
Get the factors of the, of the third and the first. One times three equals three, and the factors of eight x squared is factors of eight, special eight. One times eight, two times four. Here I have to drop this two x every time. This is the highest common factor. You have to drop it. Here I have, I need two numbers. I will take the first and third. Follow the arrow. Step number one, follow the arrow. Eight times three equals 24. In a side, get this 24. One by 24. 2 by 12, 3 by 8, 4 by 6. I have to get two factors of them. What is the condition? The condition that these two factors, their sum equals 10. Their sum equals 10. So, from these two factors, all of these factors, I have 4 times 6. Their sum equals 10. Yes, their sum equals 10. I will shoot them here. 4, okay? I will write on the small arc 4 and the bigger arc 6. I need two numbers here and here, the product 4, and two numbers here, and here the product equals 6. Okay, if I'm going to put here and here two numbers, their product equals 6. Okay, can I put here 6? So I, I have to put here one of the factors of 8x squared. Do you have 6 here? No. I can put number time, a number equals 6. From the factors here, you can only put here 2. Because 2x multiplied by 3 equals 6. And don't forget, if the sign in the middle, the sign here positive, take the middle sign in the two brackets, plus and plus. Okay? Here in the middle, two numbers, the product four. Here from the factors of eight x squared, I have to choose two, so the remainder is four. So you have to put here four x. And what time this number equal three? Three times one equals three. 